Welcome into post game coverage of Arizona State Sun Devils football presented by Blaze Radio Online.com. Weston DeWitt and Chris Cadeau here alongside Arizona State running back Demario Richard after yet another sensational game in which over 100 yards rushing and Arizona State defeated Arizona 42 to 30 in the Territorial Cup. Demario, quite simply, what attributed to your success here tonight? Um, you know, just believing in the scheme, believing in my coaches and my teammates. Uh, being patient, you know, the first, <clears throat> I had a rough first half, you know, so I just, just, you know, came in, you know, had to get my emotions straight and uh, just got straight to work. Adjustments going in from the first to second half, it was somewhere near 40 yards uh, with eight carries in the first half and then just complete and utter explosion. I know you put a lot on your offensive line in the aspect that all success goes to them, you're just running behind them but what were the intricacies coming out of the half that allowed you to be successful? Like I said, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, in the pistol, I couldn't see. So it's like I couldn't really get my reads and stuff like that. So I told Coach Graham, like, I can't see, you know, over the line. So, I, like, can you move? Like, we need to start running stuff out of the gun. You know, we switched up that, and then next thing you know, the offense started rolling. Mm. And, uh, you know, like I said, where I'm, where I'm more comfortable at is like that. So, you know, we took advantage of that and uh, made something happen. So with a big win here, obviously the talk coming in was your head coach. Is he going to stay or is he not? But just talk about what this win means to your program, given the fact last year, I mean, I'm sure you don't want to talk about last year, but just what this year and what this win means to your program. I don't even know what happened last year. I, 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 I was on like the, like Mars or something last year. I don't even remember what happened. So. But, um, you know, this is a significant win for the program. You know, um, this, is, this game is where legends are made, you know, so um, – you just got to take advantage of every opportunity given to you, and we did that. We came out on top. You know, we're going to take this momentum and um, push it forward in the bowl game, see where we come out on December 3rd and get to work. I, I know with the utmost humility, uh, just kind of putting into words what your experience at Arizona State has meant to you. I, it's, I got a chance to talk with your family throughout the season and, and what you've been able to do the last five games in the, in the aspect of coming out and playing DeMario Richard football pounding the holes, doing everything that you possibly can to get that extra yard. What has this experience at ASU meant to you, and how it does looking forward to the next level look for you? Uh, I'm not worried about the next level right now. Um, I'm just trying to take advantage of every opportunity I have on my team, you know, and I just want to solidify, you know, my legacy here, you know, leave with a stamp. And I feel like I did that tonight. And um, you know, like I said, we got one more game. You know, I still could break the 1,000-yard mark with the bowl game. You know, once that happens, I'll be fine. You know, I feel like my job here will be done once that happens. Demario Richard, thank you so much for taking time to talk with us as you've done all season long. Thank you. Best of luck to you in the bowl game, and good job tonight here against Arizona. For Blaze Radio Online, Chris Cadeau, Demario Richard, Weston DeWitt, Blaze Sports.